Hello, for the film All The Time In The World, my role was directing. The storyline for this film is uh, a regular shopper called Eli, who goes into his favourite record store, uh, will then all suddenly encounter a very beautiful lady browsing, name of Alice. As he tries to get to know her, um, they are all suddenly cut off uh, with the shop closing but with the shop closing it means they have all the time in the world to get to know each other after a purchase, purchase mess up. Restrictions in place didn't really mess us up that bad. The three characters we was able to deal with quite easily. The three minutes as well for the actual film. Quite enough that we needed to put a full story into it. The only restriction that we had what was the final restriction what sort of put us in our place was the six lines of dialogue but we had to change the dialogue a lot to make it seem more natural on set. Uh, with the idea of the film uh, we sort of knew what we wanted to do, uh, we sort of had the group already set up beforehand but then um, we sort of wanted to try something a little bit more light-hearted like unlike um, a lot of the films what have been getting produced in this course have been quite controversial matters or uh, dark scenarios so we wanted to do something light-hearted so we wanted to go for a romance slash comedy but then when we found out that the um, lines were only six lines of dialogue we sort of had to scrap the comedy a bit uh, we did add a little bit into it but it wasn't the main focus we saw it, the main focus on the romance because of the six lines of dialogue, it would have been a bit hard to transfer the um, comedy side to it with body language, let alone we didn't really want to make it slapstick. With existing stories, um, if we're talking about film-wise, uh, the main uh, reference what we used and we very much liked was uh, 500 Days of Summer. Uh, with cultural considerations, we did have uh, a few meetings on it at the start, so we did think about using a same-sex relationship, sort of love romance story, uh, sadly, but we had a big long discussion on it because we thought it would be a good idea to actually incorporate that because of the openness that uh, society is being now. We just thought that with three minutes we couldn't really do it in that time so we had to um, change it to just a male and female so it's a lot more easier for the audience to understand. We didn't think we can pull it off. Storytelling theories, uh, we used the story wheel. Uh, we learned it in one of our lectures and we did apply it to our film. We did ask uh, JP, our lecturer, if it did fit alright and it did. It means that we can make our story fit with this theory slash structure and gives our film the right amount of story in three minutes that we were restricted to. My role had the most influence uh, to the story besides the script writer um, because it was the, my vision of the script and to tell the story. Uh, real on the big screen. Uh, one of the most best, uh, most impacting influence influence that my role allowed me to do was uh, script changing, even on set. Uh, we, as a crew and cast, thought personally it didn't think the uh, six lines of dialogue wasn't as flowing as we thought it was going to be on paper. So we had to change it on set to create a more natural script. Uh, what went well was the distinctive style and overall collection of features to make the film look the way it is. Um, the location was key to this look for a real record store uh, in Greenwich. Uh, the chemistry of the actors for the romance worked well especially. Uh, with the meeting beforehand of the film uh, so they can get to know each other and not feel awkward first time on set and f first time meeting each other. And trying to pull off a, a romance. Okay, uh, what didn't go so well? Even though, in my opinion, I, uh, we had a brilliant location, there was one problem of the walls being yellow. It wasn't worrying me at the time, however, uh, when we got our feedback on our film, um, it looked like to them that we didn't white balance it properly and it just came across that it, yellow wasn't in our uh, colour palette. And another thing what didn't go right was me and the cinematographer didn't uh, complete the shot list. We um, sort of lost a bit of time there and we only had, uh, we only paid for the location for three hours on set. So that sort of wasted a bit of our time and money. 
And what I'll do differently uh, next time is to sure have completed the shot list so it'll be a lot more smoother. I believe my um, storytelling abilities have increased a little bit with this film. Uh, with the feedback we got from the tutors, one of the comments uh, that I was very happy with was that we put the right amount into um, our story of three minutes. We just put the right, um, uh, the right amount of conflict and uh, timings and everything and it worked very well um, and a few of the uh, tutors did agree to that comment. Our target audience for this film was uh, 16 to 25 year old females in the society class of C2 to E. Um, we tried to engage our audience by obtaining a love interest and making a situation happen where there's a bit of a tiny uh, conflict and you don't expect it to end with both of them together however they do. Could have that film been more uh, engaging in a cultural standpoint? I believe so we could have. Uh, we did consider it earlier on with uh, using the same sex uh, relationship sort of idea but uh, we, we could have had more interracial uh, love pairing instead just to make it a little bit more uh, cult on a kind of cultural standpoint. Reveal of the film now. Uh, what w worked well was the chemistry between the actors really pulled the film together in my opinion um, It may have gone a totally different way if they wasn't as comfortable uh, With each other or even us We definitely need to watch out for yellow walls uh, and the color grading them because uh, We might get pulled up with not white balancing again uh, but or just make it obvious that yellow is in her colour palette. For my second film, um, my film was called Fake Blood and my role was producer. The storyline was uh, two friends waiting on another friend uh, so they can go to a Halloween house party. However, one of the friends was the murderer and he is about to kill his next victim. Um, we didn't really have any restrictions in place for this film except for we had to have it five minutes. Uh, we can use as many actors or uh, uh, as many lines of dialogue so it wasn't really that hard and also our film was only a uh, 1 minute 50 so our group came up with the idea with uh, just uh, playing around with ideas we knew we wanted to do a horror um, we sort of bounce ideas around each other sort of like sort of like a, a verbal mind map so like I'll say something and then someone would add something to that was quite nice and we all did bounce off quite enough of each other and we wanted to keep it like a nice little like teen sort of horror -y sort of thing so something that's relatable uh, with uh, going to like a house party or a Halloween party as a such. Um, I would have to say for this film we didn't really have any cultural uh, considerations besides like a youth youthful like sort of party wise uh, so we wanted to get two males who are ready to like go out on the town and have a good night uh, with a house party uh, sort of just talking sort of like lad banter sort of thing it didn't really turn out like that in the end but we wanted that sort of like friendship level and like sort of um, slang they will use and that so it we didn't really think of like ethnicities my role for uh, contributing to the story told um, it was mostly for the location and the equipment with also um, the actors uh, what went well was uh, actually uh, the uh, obtaining the actors um, really um, really persistent ones they uh, message back quite well and also th uh, getting them on location and that for on time was actually uh, superb they were very good to get in contact uh, what didn't go so well was actually getting to location uh, we had their heavy equipment so we used the big us uh, of the big tripod and it was very heavy to take all the way from uh, north greenwich um, to all the way to red hill what was um, very arm aching as i can say uh, so we were set behind on shoot by an hour because of um, problems at a uh, kit store as well. Uh, what I'll do differently next time is definitely get a location that was a lot more closer to the uni uh, if I ever want to use the big Ursa again because that was just too heavy. Uh, what worked well with the actual film uh, was actually the script and I actually really did like um, the actual script what was originally used um however the clip what we used in the f film there was one line where the um 
victim uh, improved and it sort of made it a little bit uh, dodgy. It's gonna be absolutely ass kickingly good. <laughs> 